Hi everybody, my name is Dasha and I'm a master's degree student at Aalto University. Today I'm at our main campus in Otaneme district in Espo and I want to show you around. So let's go! So here is the main entrance to the undergraduate center. It is the biggest building on campus and it's located in the middle of everything. It was designed by Alvar Aalto and it's still a landmark of Otaneme campus. This is main hall and depending on the time of the day it can be empty or it can be super busy. But in any case, if something interesting is happening around the campus, you can find all the information here and usually you can buy tickets to different parties and trips also from here. This building has lots and lots of long corridors and for sure it takes few months for every each student to learn how to navigate here and finally find their way to classes easily. But the first corridor on the right from the entrance will take you straight to the admissions office or as we call it the starting point. In case you deliver your admission papers by yourself, that is where you have to bring them. Hub is the heart of the undergraduate center. It is a place where all students can freely come, do their homework, assignments, some group projects, or just hang out. I personally love this space, because on the one hand nothing distracts you here and you can really keep focused on your assignment, but on the other hand, you can grab here some snack or a drink, meet with your classmates and do some group work in a nice environment. And in general, here's a really nice atmosphere of hard work and studying. So here is the map of the whole undergraduate center. Yeah, I know it's huge, but no worries, somebody will always help you to find your way. There are two cafes like this in the undergraduate center. Their names are Aino and Elisa, and here students can grab coffee or snacks in between classes or during breaks of group meetings. Talking of group projects and group meetings, you don't have to look for a place somewhere in the building, but you can simply reserve such a nice room with your group or just for yourself through Alto Space app. It is so easy, you just choose free room and free time and reserve it and use it with your group. There are in total six schools at Aalto University and 30 departments. And the Graduate Center is home only for Mathematics and System Analysis department and for some activities of Applied Physics department. All other schools and departments are located in smaller buildings around this one. It is time to visit school cafeteria. In this building there is only one cafeteria, it's called Alvari. But in Otaniemi campus there are over 10 different student cafeterias. Today for lunch we have minced meat sauce with potatoes, creamy chicken and potato casserole, as well as vegetables and soy sauce. Student lunch always costs 2 euros and 60 cents, and you get this price when you show your student card. And the lunch always includes a salad, a main dish and a side dish, as well as bread and drink of your choice, usually it's milk or juice. If you are coming for exam, you will always find information on exams and where they are happening on the board in the main hall. And the exams usually happen in the bigger lecture halls like this one. There are in total 11 medium-sized lecture halls in all the university's undergraduate center. In premises of all Aalto University buildings you can see a lot of art objects and works of our art students. The university believes that art first of all helps to create a pleasant environment and secondly, artistic activities strengthen research and accelerate innovation and economy. For example, this space, it's fully dedicated to showcase students' art pieces and their projects, 
but here is also lots of sitting places so you can sit down, relax and get inspired. Now let's head outside. Our university campus is also very nice just to have a walk, relax, meet your friends and maybe even have a picnic on the grass. Aalto University consists of over 20 buildings that are dedicated only for studying, but also Aalto University has own design factory, sports center, Tekri village where all the students live, and also it has a gardening center for students, Otanemi Chapel, Polytechnical Students Museum, sauna on the beach, and many many other interesting facilities. This is actually a very interesting and historically important part of the building. It is a roof of biggest auditorium, which also forms an amphitheater. And here, every 30th of April, all freshman technology students start celebrating Labor Day, Pappu. Now let's visit our library. This library was also designed by Alvar Aalto and it was completed in 1969. It's actually Finland's oldest and largest library in the technical field. But last year it was fully renovated. Now it looks really nice and modern. Here is a coffee shop where students can have some coffee and this is probably the most photographed spot in the entire university. Here you can find plenty of different books, textbooks, articles and uh, theses of all the students. You can take them home with you if that's allowed, but also you can enjoy reading here in these nice sofas and armchairs. If we go downstairs, we will get to my most beloved space in the entire university. It's library and also working space for students. I have done here most of my assignments. I really enjoy the quietness of this place, but also its creativeness and I just feel inspired. I think this place is unbelievable. Look at these bubble seats. Does anybody else have something like this in their university? I don't think so. So this library serves also as a presentation space. So here you can often listen to different kinds of presentations on very different topics from art to nanophysics. And this is the brand new building of Aalto University campus, it's called Vare. It was recently opened to public this September and it became a home to all departments of the School of Arts, Design and Architecture. But we will visit it with you next time in the next video, so stay tuned! This is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this little tour and if you would like to see more videos about student life in Finland, check out my own channel. It is in Russian, but all the new videos are coming out with English subtitles. We hope to see you soon at Aalto University and I will see you in the next video. Bye!